Hi guys, Lunar here. Welcome back to another armor guide for God of War Ragnarok. In this one, we're looking at how to get the best defensive armor in the game, the Steinbjorn armor set. Once upgraded, this armor, which you can get quite early if you wish, has the highest defense rating of any armor in game. It comes at the cost of other stats, putting them all into defense instead. So it's great for tough bosses and other tough enemies. Its ability is also great after significant damage is taken, you will be restored in health every time you deal damage. For its other pieces, they have increased luck chance to stun enemies whenever damage is taken. So how do you get this cool armor? First, head to the Midgard Lake of Nines. Here at the bottom of the map, there is a mysterious relic to pick up. This will unlock some troll boss fights for us to find. The first troll is located here in the Lake of Nine, southwest of your location. Travel there and fight and defeat the first troll. You will need to equip and then activate the mystical heirloom in your inventory. The next troll is located in Alfheim, but it's in the furthest possible place to reach, the Forbidden Sands. So you're going to have to end the sandstorm in both regions before you can get this troll. But once you've done that, you can head to the location on the map here to fight the second troll. <laughs> Lastly, you will have a double troll boss fight. Head to Vanaheim and the River Delta, then follow it along to the spot marked above the map here, Noatun's Garden. Once defeated, the trolls will drop slumber stones, which when you head to the blacksmith can be used to craft the Steinbjorn armor set. Now, if you want to craft that as soon as possible, then you can, but we can also look to fully upgrade the armor as well, which you won't be able to do until end game. But here is all the components that you will need. 19 Asgardian ingots, 120 purified crystalline, 10 sparkling crystals, five tempered remnants, two smoldering embers, and 190,000 hack silver. Now the easiest way to get most of the stuff is to head to the crater in Vanheim. Located around the region is these amber crystals which you can destroy and collect. Next we have to head into the sinkholes with our crystals and through the poison passage on the right. Chase away the dragon and open the right hand side gate. Crawl through the crawl space and fight off Crackjaw and go through the crack in the wall and follow the path all the way up to the top and you will come across the wishing well. Now throw your fragments into the well to receive a bunch of cool crafting materials and a new armor as well, and they will include Asgardian ingots, purified crystalline, and sparkling crystals, which is most of the stuff we need to improve our armor. To get Tempered Remnants, all you need to do is kill one Berserker. You can find them at the Berserker graves around the map. Kill any of them to get this as a reward, like the ones I fought here, the Sisters of Ilska in Alfheim. Yeah. 
Lastly, you're going to need two smoldering embers and their rewards for completing Trials of Muspelheim. To start the trials, go to Muspelheim and follow the quest markers for the Crucible Favor. Then head to the large sword hill in the cave and interact with it to begin the trials. You're going to have to complete six trials here, which isn't too hard to do, at which point the chest in the central chamber will unlock. This will again unlock more trials for you to complete. The first one will give you your first smoldering ember. You can complete the second trial, which will not give you one this time. But in total, you'll have to do eight trials. And then you can do the ninth and final trial for now, where you can defeat 100 enemies and the rewards will include three more smoldering embers. Of course, the Crucible can still have more challenges, but for now we have enough to fully upgrade our armor. So guys, that is it. That is how to get the best defensive armor in God of War Ragnarok, the Steinbjorn armor set. It's a pure defensive armor and boost your defense stats as high as they can go, but you won't have any boosts to your other stats like some other armors will. But I guess it really just depends on your playstyle. For me, I'm playing just a tank right now, which is perfect for some of the tougher bosses. If you liked the video, subscribe for more God of War weapons and armor guides, and I will see you all next time.